Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bodhi system. My name is Colin and today I will show you how to get Rivals of Ether working with a bite stick. So, um, first thing you're going to need is a bite stick. That one's pretty basic, right? Um, what's that here? Make myself look better. Okay, that one's pretty basic. So here's what I use. It's a Comba drone. It's an 8 button. Uh, Eight button stick and a square gate. Really, you could upgrade to octagon, but it's up to you. So I'm going to show you my control scheme. Um, by the way, for Quamba, they have a PS4 and PS3 setting. I've only gotten Rivals of Ether to work on the PS3 setting, um, so keep that in mind. Uh, profiles, Colin. Gamepad. Okay, so I have tap jump off and strong attack off. So my custom controls. Attack is um, if you were to lay your hands out on the fight stick. Oh shit. If you were to lay your hands out on the fight stick, like as the buttons go, you know, so there's one button for each four fingers. Uh, my attack button is going to be. Uh, your ring finger, and I know that sounds stupid, but bear with me. Special is A, which is the bottom left button, so my thumb. Jump is my middle finger. Strong is my pinky on the top, and dodge is my index finger. Um, where's the, a couple other things here? Okay, uh, my walk button is um, underneath my attack button is what I want to make. Or wait, no. That's, okay, there we go. Wait, short hop should be this. There we go. Okay, so my walk button is underneath my attack button, so I can do tilts whenever I want. Just by kind of, you just do this. I don't know, you, you do this instead of this. You kind of shift like Guitar Hero. I kind of think of it as Guitar Hero. Uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, but then, yeah, you have the short hop button below your typical jump button uh, that you can, you know, use to do that. Uh, here's a quick little play test to show you how it all works. So here's your wave dashes. I'll try not to be too loud with the keyboard, but you can do jab, that, you can do dash attack. You can do pretty much anything with it. Okay, so then uh, what I like to do is, and then you can work in the lows too. It helps if you, it helps if you keep the button. If you do, I, I kind of do a flat fingered. Um, I'll show you on here. Kind of do a flat fingered one like this when I want to do a tilt. So if I'm moving, oh shit, sorry, this is off the cuff, so, so if I'm moving and I want to, you know, do a tilt instead, I'll do that and it'll do dash attack instead of, you know, something like that. Uh, but anyway, strong attacks, you can do it right into it, so it's, it's middle index, middle index, pinky. Okay, things like that. You can do all sorts of whatever you need to do. And here I will show you a match that I played. Still getting used to the menu controls, sorry. All right, here we go. This is just against a computer, just to get my bearings a little bit. You'll see me start to pick up on stuff as the time goes by.
Oh, by the way, it's super easy to moonwalk on a stick since it's a half circle back motion. Um, just imagine you're doing like Potemkin Buster, basically. That's how I do it. Um, it works really well into Down Smash, is from what I've found. There's me kind of messing with some rolls and stuff like that. No DI, huh? Haven't worked out the uh, side B jumping combos yet with it. That's a little bit of work, but getting there. This is day one, hour one, so. Thinking it's looking all right. Uh, I forgot it doesn't hit in front. Only hits behind with the vacuum. Could have capitalized there, but I didn't. As you can see, I mean, we can let it keep going, but um, it ends up being 8 to 1. I start adapting pretty well. I don't know how long this is, so I'll let it roll for a little bit. Basically, what I'm trying to demonstrate here, there's one, is that this game is completely playable on a fight stick. Uh, it is kind of intensive on your right hand, but if you're used to playing 2D fighters, you should be good. Alright everyone, thanks for hanging out, best of luck.